Okay guys, on the bench right now is a 2015 G2 Can-Am rear differential. It's had its first redesign since 2012 and what everybody wants to know, including myself, is has Can-Am fixed their differential problems? I'll just get you a shot of the part number. So that's the 2015 part number for the new G2 diff and let's go through some of the differences in the differential and uh, we'll get to the burning question in a bit. Okay so right off the bat there's a few differences with the case. Um, pinion seal, axle seals are new, bigger breather tube, it's the same size as the XMR and that sealing lid too is a bit different. It has a better sealing surface than the old G2 differential it's again more like the XMR so not a whole lot of changes there and we'll move on to the gear set okay now I'm not a metallurgist uh, but one thing that appears to me is that the 2015 ring gear appears that it isn't as hard or isn't as as hardened as the 2014 to 2012 ring gear. There is a uh, wear pattern forming on those teeth and that's not typical for the 2012 to 2014 gear set. These ring gears, if you caught the failure early enough would rarely even have a mark on them. They still look brand new. So moving on to the pinion gears here. Um, not a whole lot of change here. One thing that you'll notice is the pinion stub here is a bigger diameter than the 2012 to 2014 pinion gears. Um, that's the typical wear pattern that you see on the old style G2 gears and when you look at this that pattern is evident already uh, the top of the teeth there starting to thin down and if you flip this over Hope that the camera will show that, but this pinion bearing is already toast. So I mentioned earlier that the ring gear had less surface hardening on the teeth. Now I say that because of the wear patterns and the shine that started on these teeth already after 100 kilometers. Now when you compare that to the 2012-2014 ring gear after uh, some light use there is no wear pattern no shine that's typical for a 2012-2014 ring gear so why would Can-Am or BRP take surface hardening off the ring gear teeth well it's Mud and Wheels official theory that they would do that to stop the wear pattern that happens on these pinion gears. You leave this long enough it'll start to look like that. And eventually like this. So will the 2015 G2 diffs hold up? Well from what I've seen so far I don't think it looks very promising. So please check out all my other videos on YouTube, like Mud and Wheels on Facebook. I got a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, you can see over there I got a Visco lock front diff. In the background I'm working on a video for that. Um, I'm also starting to work with some pretty major companies too. And uh, I'm going to hope to release details on that in the very near future.